Best friends turned co-founders in today's lunch break. Jen Han Axelson and Paula Wyatt share a sesame ginger sauce and the many ways it can be put to use. Ladies, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. I have to tell people at home because obviously they can't smell what's going on here, but this smells phenomenal. <laughs> um, tell, us, tell us what we're doing. Tell us what we're making. Well, we're making a sesame ginger sauce okay. that is our most versatile sauce. Mm -hmm. We think it was a great one to showcase today because it's so great for summer. Perfect. And what kind of things are going in there? You've got a lot of different ingredients. I definitely can smell garlic. So we start with ginger. And Jen is uh, mm -hmm. peeling the ginger. And you can use a paring knife, but a spoon is actually our preferred way to get in all those nooks and crannies and get it off without taking off too much of the meat of the ginger. That's a great tip because when I am using ginger and you're trying to get it off with a knife, it, it can be a bit of a pain because exactly. you end up losing the actual ginger itself. Exactly. So plenty of ginger in there. Is it plenty one, of ginger. one clove, is it? Is clove even the right word? Well, you want to use about a quarter cup, cup. Okay. Of, of, of ginger and you want to put it in the food processor mm -hmm. with the garlic and the sesame oil. And okay. then you're going to add uh, sake, which is a Japanese wine, and you want to put that in next mm -hmm. because you want to cook that alcohol out of it. Okay. So I put in a cup of mirin, which is another Japanese wine. It's a little sweeter, has a little okay. less alcohol, but you want to get that boiling right away okay. And um, after you've sautéed that garlic and for a little bit. Grand. And there was another thing I saw on the recipe list that I, d I wasn't familiar with. Is it tamari? Tamari. So okay. that actually would go in next. Okay. And we use tamari instead of soy sauce okay. because tamari has, is gluten free. Oh, very good. So. Okay. Um, is it, you know, a little less maybe salty than soy or is it quite kind of the same? It tastes pretty much the same. You okay. won't tell the difference. You know, if you're at home and you make our sauce, you can use soy sauce, the mm -hmm. same amount. Um, if you think you're going to be serving it to somebody that's uh, gluten sensitive or celiac, you want to use the tamari. This is a better option. Mm -hmm. And then you mix all of that together. How long does that need to be mixed for? Well, you want to add some sugar. Okay. And... Um, you can, you know, when you're making this at home, if it's too sweet the first time you make it, you can cut back on that sugar. If you want it sweeter, you can add a little bit more. Okay. You're going to um, mix all of that together. You're going to mix some cornstarch in cold water, and that's kind of an important step. Mm -hmm. You want to mix that up because that will uh, prevent it from getting lumpy. Okay. And then once you've worked out all those lumps. Maybe whisk it together a little bit. Once you've worked out all those lumps. Mm -hmm. Then you want to pour that in the sauce. Grand. And then you're just going to let that go until it boils. And you're going to let it boil for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the cornstarch has to boil in order to activate and start to get thick. And then you'll notice it's getting thicker. And then once it cools, it will uh, even get a little bit thicker. So, Lovely. But if you like a thicker sauce, add a little more cornstarch to it. So once this is made, it's then going to go on a salad, correct, Jen? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay, so you're going to tell us so, a little bit more about that? Right, so this is our here. sesame ginger sauce. Okay. And we are making today, Brona, our sesame peanut noodle salad. And it's a great thing for summertime. It can be served cool, room temperature. Mm -hmm. We start with the dressing, where we're adding peanut butter. Mm -hmm and some, oh, that little glob got away. <laughs> he was trying to escape. Right, exactly. <laughs> um, a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, okay. and this recipe is on our website. Perfect, so if people wanna try it at home, exactly. we're gonna head away, and we're gonna give the website in a second, I believe. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna add a little bit more than a quarter cup. Okay. Um, there we go, and then what, it's less of a recipe and more of a template. You mm -hmm. know, what do you like? We like rice noodles because they are not only gluten free, so friendly to everybody, mm -hmm. but also they can, you don't have to cook them on the stove. You can cook them by soaking them in water, so you don't even have to turn on your oven for this dish. So that's what's really nice. It's good for people like me. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So this is a, um, these are some rice noodles. Oh, first let me whisk the dressing up. Okay, get that nice yeah. and smooth. Get that nice and smooth. There we go. Okay. And then, as you said, you know, it's, it's whatever you kind of want. You it's can put in as much as you like or as little as you like. Precisely, exactly. And um, these are the vegetables that we've chosen, but you can choose whatever are your favorite vegetables. So we're going to start with some noodles. And I start, you know, not using all of them because we want to make sure that the, the ratio of dressing to ingredients is nice. Um, we have some cucumber. We have some already shredded carrots. Okay. Some green onion. 
Very good. Lots of different healthy things going in Lots there. Lots of different healthy <laughs> things, exactly. And cabbage is a really nice one that goes well with this, um, this particular dressing. Okay. And then we like some uh, cilantro, so a little bit of cilantro. fresh herbs. Big yes, fan of cilantro. Right, exactly. Get rid of that whisk. Okay. We're going to toss this on up. So as you said, you're sat there, you know, it's like nice and light for summer and especially nice weather like this. As Mike exactly. was saying, eating outside, this could be perfect. Right, exactly. So just toss this as, until it's all combined. And the if the noodle seems stiff to you, the sauce does. You can add a little water, but the sauce does soften the noodles up after a little bit. Okay. And then it's always nice to just make sure, you know, you have enough sauce. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit more of the cucumber and then I'm going to plate it. Okay, and then once you have it plated, obviously, you know, what Paula was making here, the sauce, you can kind of add that as you need it or want it. Exactly, Perfect. exactly, right. I would taste it first to see if it's to your liking. Yeah. You know, do you want to add more peanut butter? It's really pretty um, garnished with a little bit of sesame seeds. And we've always, uh, we always toast our seeds. Seeds don't have a lot of flavor until you toast them. Yeah. So we finish it off with some toasted Very nice. sesame. Very nice. And then tell me what's going on here in front yeah. of us here. We have more, more dishes. Yeah, so the sesame ginger sauce can be used as a grilling sauce, which is what we did here. We grilled some chicken breasts, some salmon, um, fresh vegetables, whatever your favorite vegetables are. We have zucchini, nab onions. Um, we make other sauces too. That's our vodka sauce with Fabulous. penne. Yeah. yeah, big fan of that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the vodka sauce is very popular. And if people are looking for you guys, where can they find you? I know you have a website, you mentioned the website, but yes. if you're actually looking to kind of come and meet you, where, where can they find you? Yeah, so we are at um, Farmer on the Green on Tuesday. Um, that's 3 to 7, that's 320 South Canal. It's a beautiful market and a beautiful green. We're also at the Deerfield Market on Saturday mornings and the Libertyville Market on Thursday mornings. You're busy ladies. Yeah. Lots of cooking yes. and lots of farmers markets. Yes, exactly. Very good. Well, listen, thank you very much for coming in and joining us. And you can check out Saucier at the Farmers Market every Tuesday, as, as Jen just mentioned, from 3 to 7 at 320 South Canal. And you can find them online as well at saucierllc.com. Again, ladies, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Thank you.